Dr. Francois, I mean, there are many who are saying that, frankly, the Biden administration should have acted sooner and faster, that hundreds of billions of dollars uh, has been put at risk because the Houthis have held uh, this area in the Red Sea um, at ransom. Sorry, so just let me get this straight, Yelda. So we are bombing the poorest, one of the poorest countries in the world that has been under a humanitarian <laughs> blockade. There has been famine. These people have been decimated. And we are bombing them because a couple of guys in dinghies in support for the Palestinians who are having a genocide committed against them. They're objecting to that and we're bombing them. Come on now. I mean, well, this it, is I, just an insane world for us to even think. I'm so sorry your Amazon packages are delayed. I really am. Like, I wish mine came on time. But, you know, genocide, guys, genocide. There are two mothers a day dying in Gaza right now. It's 109 days into a conflict in which a humanitarian crisis has been declared to the world day but by in, the way, day out. By the way, Dr. Francois, there are many who are Yemen watchers who, are, who monitor and follow the Houthis who say this is doing wonders for their branding, actually, mm -hmm. that it isn't just the Palestinian cause that they're focused on. So call a ceasefire is... now and end the positive branding. If you want to stop the Houthis doing what they're doing, then call a ceasefire right now. Do you genuinely believe right that now. the Houthis would, would stop doing what they're doing. If they have literally said that that's why they're doing what they're doing. They have not previously blocked those routes for any other reason except this one. So yes, I do. And I also think the West needs to start to understand that you can't just go around playing cowboys in the world. There are consequences to your actions. You cannot just go around bombing people's countries, ignoring international law and expect no repercussions. For every cause, there is a consequence. And just because you don't like a couple of guys trying to resist... I mean, the These fact are that this is now prescribed terrorists. Uh, sure, the according to Western governments, well, they are also terrorist according governments. to the Yemeni yeah. people, because yeah, they've which is the Saudi-backed government, yeah. which is essentially our. People. But but yeah. the Yemenis who live, uh, you know, under Houthi rule, talk mm. about the fact that this group continues uh, to terrorize them as well. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's I'm it. no fan of the Houthis, apart from when they're blockading in favor of a ceasefire, which should have been called a long time ago. Fifty-five thousand people are dead in Gaza right now. There are over 60,000 people injured with no access to food, water, aid. How dare we have a conversation about trade when there are children right now being treated without anaesthetic? Well, the there are things that, that require us to make some sacrifices, the, and this would be I one mean, of they, them. They do have the global economy, global markets hostage. Good for them. Bill Brother. <laughs> Good for them. It, it, Cease fire now. Cease fire right. now. <laughs> We're going to have to uh, leave it uh, there. But um, uh, Dr. Miriam Francois... You cannot allow these people to be decimated and expect there to be no I mean, consequences. I think, I think, I think that is a, 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 you know, a separate conversation, but we, we do have uh, about 20 um, uh, seconds left. Dr. Um, Miriam Francois, Bill Brother, thank you both for joining us here thank on you, the programme.